Hello everyone, it's Groovy Green Hat. Uh, see, I wasn't a liar. I said that my next battle will be 5th gen battle, and it totally is. Look, you can tell, it's, well, you can't really tell it's 5th gen, because all the Pokemon are 4th gen, but it has a Dragonite, so I know it's 5th gen. Um, I guess I was lying a bit, because I said that it would be within the next week of my last battle. That's definitely a lie. That's definitely not true. But there are various complications that prevented me from uploading sooner than I would have liked to, or sooner than I am doing it now, rather. Yep, yeah, so these are a series of five battles, I believe, against my good friend and cousin, a Steelers Midget, as he is known on YouTube. Uh, and my apology that the game is in Japanese, my only 5th gen game is in Japanese, because I got it before all my friends and taunted them, and then, you know, I have the game, I don't need to buy it again in English. Uh, but don't worry, at least two of the battles, maybe three of them, will be from his point of view, so they'll be in English, uh, for all you people that can't read Japanese out there. However, I assume you all kind of know your battle animations fairly well, like you can tell the eyes use close combat because my stats got lowered and I had the right animation, you can tell it's raining because he left with the polytoad, stuff like that. So I hope you can kind of tell what's going on. I'll point out things like critical hits or life orb damage, I guess. Uh, sucker punch takes him out. But I think that you can all just kind of bear with me here on this one. He goes for the protect as I go for stealth rocks. I really got to go those up. My apologies, by the way, for not narrating earlier parts of this battle, but I think that the explanation was at least somewhat necessary. Also, bear in mind, again, that I'm a little bit out of practice, and I've forgotten how fast these things go, and you have to kind of keep up with it. And since we had five battles with virtually always the same Pokemon, they kind of get muddled up in my head, so you're just going to have to bear with me here. Um, yeah. I rock blast, predicting him to switch into something. If he doesn't switch, I'm sure that Cloyster can... Oh, there's a right there. I think that Cloyster can take almost anything Glaster can throw at me with my very high defensive stats. Um, but he goes up to Vaporeon. Vaporeon's quite the defensive monster. Very hard to take down in the rain with hydration. Um, granted, his set is completely walled by a specific Pokemon, which I do not bring to this match. But you, I don't think we ever actually see that later. But yeah, so hydration makes us that when he... I'm sure you all know this, so I'm patronizing you all, but just bear with me here. When he rests in the rain, uh, at the end of turn, hydration gets rid of his status, which is very uh, potent combo. Uh, so I figure, I'm not winning this, but I don't see me losing this either. I want to see what other moves he has, because this is, I think, the first battle he actually had, so I don't know what moves he has. Uh, so I'm just kind of sticking it out. I got a couple critical hits in there somewhere. And he got the uh, toxic on me, and that's kind of too bad. I've got the leftovers, but... I don't know, I'd rather switch out. So I've seen he has uh, Protect, Toxic, and Rest. And there he goes for the Rest. So I go out to Gengar, thinking, okay, what's his last move? Surf? Something like that? Because I'm still in the Forest End mindset here. So I go Thunderbolt. And that does not very much damage, because, you know, they probably aren't quite defensive. Uh, he misclicks Toxic there. That was really too bad for him. Uh, misclicks are never nice. They just kind of ruin the game in all possible manners. But you have to just keep going. Especially when the DS does it for you. I, my my DS is old, and they decided it would be funny if they region locked um, the newer Pokemon games for everything but the DS Fat. So my old DS Fat, which is like dying. Um, no, I forgot what I was saying. Right. Can only play these games, and whatever. Various things. Uh, I Destiny Bond. Sweet. What was I just talking about? Man, this is. Uh, Right, misclicks. Yes, thank you. So my old DS will sometimes press buttons for me on the touchscreen, which is really bothersome. I don't think it comes up in this match unless it does. It might come up for one of them. Uh, I switched out to Rise. I was going to name him Rhyme, and then I forgot. Because if I had named him Rhyme, I could have been clever. Like, every time I sent him out, I could say, oh, look, it's Rhyme. He's cool this time. But I didn't. So I'll have to send it like, he rises from the grave. But that doesn't sound very cool. Uh, I'm toxic. I got hit by Ice Fang. I have really powerful Eviolite, which sounds like a Pokemon in itself. I guess it's Eviolite, or e Eviolite, like Evolve, yeah, okay. Um, but whatever, I've got monstrous physical defense and fairly good special defense um, with that item on. Not enough, however, to take or survive a Sarmi Surf in the rain. Not a lot of things can do that from that health when they're double weak to it. In fact, I'm pretty sure almost nothing can. Uh, I go to Doug Trio. I go suck a punch and deals good damage. He rapid spins. Arguably not a great play, but I have a sash and he knew that, so it really doesn't matter. He didn't want to get me into reversal range. Um, so yeah, so go that to Dragonite, and I sucker punch to break his uh, multi scale. Uh, yeah, multi scale, and he Aqua Tails and that kills me. And he takes life orb damage, and I go to Cloister and I Ice Shard, and I think I win. 
Uh, or maybe there's one dude left. Let's find out. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. It dies. Oh, I got left over. He has one guy left. And it is... Oh, man. What is this Pokemon? It's Gliscor. This is a good matchup for me. Uh, he protects to get that little bit of extra Toxic on me. But, uh, fortunately, Cloyster is not four times weak to Toxic damage. So, I go straight for the uh, Icicle Spear, and it dies. So that was a very groovy game, and more are on the way soon. I may lose all at once, or I might not. So yeah.